Thanks for waiting, man. No problem, man. Thank you, guys. Take us through that, because you, you had one of the most uh, interesting situations of anybody tonight, obviously. Um, well, what can I say? Last week, I was, uh, I was in Reynosa, Tamaulipas, Mexico, having some tacos, and I was driving across the border, and I get a phone call. And as I'm getting the phone call, I, within 10 seconds, I regretted the tacos I had just ate. <laughs> and then uh, I got to my gym, I checked my weight, and I was 183. But I had already said yes, and I didn't care. I was like, we're good to go. And uh, I'm so glad I came out with the W. You know, it, it might be a controversial fight, but at the end of the day, I, mean, I, I I've done this for so much, for like a long period of time. It was only a matter of time before he tapped. That that thing was pretty sunk in, and it was it was only getting tighter and tighter. And he was gonna tap. The next thing he was gonna do, he's gonna you know, roll to his back, and I was gonna roll right on top of him, and he was gonna even get tighter. So when you uh, I'm sorry, did, did it feel like he tapped? It, it actually did. Like uh, not the first one, not the first one did, but uh, there's a there's a moment where he kind of like rolled in, yeah. and that's when I actually felt the actual tap. I didn't. I was not. You know, I've been, I fought all over the world. I fought in different promotions. And they usually tell you, hey, don't let go until the ref pulls you off. But in the second, once he was like, you know, not the first one, but when he kind of like curled in, that I felt the tap and that's when I saw the ref already come in. And that's when I just like, all right, cool. I knew it was over. It seemed like higher up in the body, with the second time that you're talking about, like at the time, he yeah. did tap three times, it looked like, as the ref was jumping in. Yeah, you know, and uh, everybody was kind of like basing it off the first one, but you know, uh, to each their own, I'm just glad I came out with that W. When you knew that you weren't going to make the weight, I mean, did you know then what the rules were that you weren't going to get any points, whether you won, you won or you not? You know, I, I knew that. I knew that, but you know, uh, we're fighters, you know, it, it, what, what do we do is we fight. I can't sit there and dwell about it. I just got to go out there and do my job as a fighter. You know, it's, I stepped in on a short notice fight and, you know, uh, and, and I had to go out there and do what I do best and that's fight. And for, for me stepping in, I was very impressed of the lack of conditioning <laughs> that my opponent kind of like brought in, you know, especially not, not taking a lot from me, you know, because I, I, I weathered the storm a lot of the times, you know, but I was expecting him to go in there and wrestle me, make, make me tired, make me, you know, as you guys can see behind me, you know, he was on top of me. He was like, you know, I had to play a good strategy and able to be to get him, get him tired, you know. You, you did, uh, did your coaches tell you that you were probably down two rounds for sure yep. going into the last? Yep, uh, my, my coaches told me we're uh, two, two rounds down, you know, and I, I knew that in the third round. Th this is pretty much my game plan. One of the game plans that we were going to do is we're going to go out there and we're going to make him gas. We're going to make him get into those firefights. I know that he doesn't like to get hit. I knew that carrying so much muscle. That would also get you tired, you know. I wrestled in college. I wrestled collegiate level. You know, once you make people flex, once you make those muscles, you know, they may need more blood. They need more blood cells. It's gonna get him tired. It's gonna wear him down. And then you can tell as soon as we came into the third round, you know, some of the heel kicks that I gave him on uh, standing up, you know, he takes a shot and I just kind of push him to the side and he just goes straight back. And that's when I noticed that hey, this is my opportunity and I have to. I have to. You know, it's kind of like I I had a rig of dice. And expect the best from it, you know, because it was a one, like, you know, it was, if he would have just stayed back, laid back, he could have won a, a, like, an easy fight, you know, but I, I had to go out there and put everything I have. Given the, the point situation, is your mentality coming into the fight, uh, hey, I got to get a win because then I'm giving other guys in the division something to look for from me, you know, in, in my second fight, or maybe I'm getting zero points, but at least I'm going to make sure that he gets zero points too? Yeah, exactly. That, you know, one of the things is, uh, a lot of people, you know, I, I'm, I'm thinking about this, like, you know, we're fighters. We're supposed to fight. If we start linking into the point system and everything, you know what, like, let, let's forget all about the points. You have a job to do and that's win that fight. No matter ifs, ands, or buts. We go in there and we win. We let everything else take care of itself. What do we do? We're fighters. They, they have, we have great, a great company that puts a great system together and they carry the whole system. We, our only job is to go in there and fight. And when we fight, we're not trying to win an easy decision. We're not trying to like win like just by winning. We're trying to go out there, you know, if you don't win, you get half your paycheck. You know, if you wanted to take your kids out, 
Well, now that you're going to have to go on a budget instead of actually taking a full ride, you know? Hey, Efron, just because you didn't get any points tonight doesn't mean that you still can't make the next round. So are you going to be watching the uh, the next round of, of uh, your division fights a little bit more intently? Uh, I, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a game player. I Obviously, I'm a, I'm a fight fan, first and foremost. Uh, I love the fights. You know, I love to watch, you know, I loved watching Brooks tonight. You know, he's he's an amazing athlete. I, I saw it kind of like studying him, you know, not because I want to fight him. It's because I want to fight like these guys, you know, like not taking anything away from it. But, you know, Brooks is very, very talented. He he makes you wear out. You is he hard. He's hard to hit. You know, and then you have guys like Foster that he hits like a truck and he just keeps going. He gets hit. And he doesn't care. Like, so. I, I love watching these guys fight, and you know, I, it's an honor for me to step into the cage with them. And eventually, you know, I'm here to win it. So um, I'm here, and I don't care who we got next. I'm just, I just wish them the best luck and recovery. And let's go out there and have a next, like the next round, have a good, fun fight. Jason reacted pretty harshly. I, I think you saw he had hands on the ref and throwing chairs and stuff. You're a vet. You've been around a while. Is, is that understandable given the circumstances, or do you feel like he overreacted? I, I think he overreacted a little bit. Um, you know, once you lose a controversial fight, you now I've lost controversial fights. You know, I, I lost to Kevin Lee on a very controversial fight in Las Vegas and stuff like that. But you know what? Well, when Burt Watson, I don't know if a lot of you guys know who he is, but he used to say, "Don't leave it to the judges because they only make you cry and sad." But you know what? It, it's it, this is the sport. You can be winning every single round. You know, Anderson Silva versus uh, Shell Sonnen. You know, he beat him up the whole round and got him in that little fluke triangle. It, it's it's a fight game, and you can't overreact because we all make mistakes. All of us. All of us. We all fall. We all have to get. He just has to come back. You know, there's another fight. He can come back, and he has to redeem himself, and that's what he has to do. And you know, no questions asked. Did you guys talk at all? Did he say anything? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, one of his one of his old coaches actually one of his coaches right now on, on like that's with him. He actually uh, we actually hired him. I hired him to go out there and help me a couple months ago. And then in between camp, like like I went to practice and he was mad at home. And then I got home and he was on a plane back home. And I'm like, what the hell are you doing? And then now I fought him. So I don't really care. You know, like whatever. <laughs> I don't know if it was like uh, from someone from your camp, but someone yelled, um, he tapped. Do you think that's way to run three? Uh, no, no, really. I actually, like, I heard he tapped, and that's when I actually kind of even sunk in it. And it was still like a, like a good, um, it was still a good, uh, you know right see, there. we can see right there. See there? That second yeah, one. That's right when the red jumps in. Yeah. So that's when uh, I actually saw, I did, that's when I actually. I heard the tap, but I was not gonna let go. You know, they, they tell you, they tell us real quick. But yeah, him overreacting, once again, it's not the ref's fault, you know? Like, and why are you gonna, like when he, I'm not, I seen my, my uh, six-year-old daughter do that at the cereal <laughs> aisle, you know? <laughs> Usually she gets what she wants, but uh, come on. <laughs> now, obviously the points isn't that big of a deal for this fight, but now that you have zero, and obviously you gotta have a certain amount of points to get here to the final way. Are you kind of in a hurry for your next fight to try to get the finish in the first, or is it just more of a, you know, just do your best and go from there? I, I don't care where it is next. I'll be standing in front of you guys. Finish, I will finish my next opponent. Doesn't matter how, but I will finish him. The whole point system, whatever. But I'm here to do one job. Efren, talk about this fighter taking this fight on short notice, man. What's your mindset going into this? You're just going to let it all out on Saturday. You only have five days to prepare. There's no added media obligations or any of the other stuff that comes. And also, you're not thinking about your opponent. Five days out, that's all you got. Uh, obviously, it's a, lot, it's, it's a lot to take in, you know, especially because, you know, a lot of my training partners, a lot of people back home were like, Efren, you're freaking crazy. What are you doing, man? But you know what? I'm 32 years old. I fought everywhere in the world. You can name it. I fought in it. Promotion, I fought in it. But guess what? I'm a fighter, and I this is what I love to do. My window of fighting is closing every single day, and that's what I want to do. I want to go out there, and I want to give the fans what they want to see. What they saw tonight, like my heart, my determination to not give up, even in the third round, and once again, I actually had a mindset tonight. A mindset that not a lot of people would actually think that I was. And I didn't even get it because I was. I wanted to get the mic 
just so I can give a message out to like everybody out there, I just want to let you guys know, it's pretty sad what's going down at the border. I li I'm, I'm from a border town. It's super sad. Let's find a way to all come together and like you know help these kids stop separating kids from their families because you know I'm a dad and I'm a I'm a, like you know me and the mother did not work out we split our kids and it's hard for me to leave them just like that imagine what these parents are going through every single day that they don't want to get to see their kids come on guys I'm, I'm pretty sure now I'm an American citizen but you know what guys we can come out with something better maybe the most like to see what would, uh, what would you like to see? What would you like to see? Like, border? Would you like to see? I, 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 everybody keeps talking about like, oh, let's build these borders. Let's mm -hmm. do, let's build these walls. But I keep hearing about all these school shootings. Mm -hmm. I keep seeing. How do we keep our people safe from here? Yeah, there's a lot of. Well, we have to come out with like better amnesty. You know, I know parents that don't want to live in America, but they have to because they want to keep better opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know what, guys? I, I, I'm from Mexico. I, I've seen it myself. I have friends. Some of the places out there, you don't want to live in there. I don't want my kids living up there, but I also don't want my kids going to a school where I know there's school shootings, you know? And it's in America. They're trying to make us spend $20 billion on a wall when we got things happening here. Like, let's find something. We don't all have to be. We're not like the big brother that always tries to be like the big tough man. We can do something better. We should be nice to each other and like, you know, it's find a way, you know, because in Mexico, eh, people don't care. The bad people are gonna get across and the, the people trying to run away from it, guess what? They're the ones getting like messed up. And the, the people here in America getting separated from their kids, it's only making us feel bad. Well, we appreciate your education too because there's a lot of people that are one side of the border or not, so when you have somebody that actually knows on the both sides. Yeah, you know, I can argue, like, you know, like, I'm, I'm not going to tell you that Mexico is the safest place in the world, and I'm not going to tell you, like, hey, go down to Mexico, because, hey, guess what, I, I'm not. But I'm also letting you guys know that, like, if we can help, why not help? If we can, like, you know, we're trying to be, like, that country that, like, we give, you know, things happen in Iraq, and we go out there and I help in Iraq, and we do go do all this, Guess what? We gotta like, you know, we got right here, right next to the border. We got people that are trying to run from the violence because, guess what? Before I'm in McAllen, Texas. Before I drive across the border, I check this app and I say, and it tells you red zone. Do not. I'm like, uh, uh, I ain't driving. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's what it says. Like we check because it's so dangerous. And you wear, you drive an SUV. You're not coming back with that SUV. I tell, I, I tell you right, right yeah. now, it's that dangerous right now. Well, and not only that, it seems like a lot of the Honduran people, it's not just the Mexican people, that are coming into the border to escape a lot of hell. Yeah, and, and, and that's what it is. And, you know, maybe we can, we, we got to be able to do something else. We can't just be like, 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 like Trump's doing right now and just say no. And then, oh, it's, you know what, you guys are doing that, so now we're going to take your kids. And if you want to do this, like, come on, man, like. Like, it sucks, you know, it sucks for me being away from my kids, even if I'm a good standing with the mother, you know, but just imagine if, you know, you, your kids are getting taken away, you don't even know where they go. Hey, Efron, real quick, maybe the most important question of the night, what kind of tacos were you eating when you got the call? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, well, I was having all kinds of, like, carne asada, I actually had a, I call it a... A beef tongue? Beef, like beef tacos, lengua. shredded tacos, the lengua, uh, it's... It's amazing. And they're in Reynosa too. I mean, we have to check that red zone too. We're not. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, you know, uh, it was probably like a dog or something, but it was a really good one. <laughs> but other than that, you know, guys, it's, it's, it was a fun fight. I, I had a lot of fun. I appreciate it. all you guys coming out here and still giving me the love that you guys gave me. I understand it. I give it to my opponent. I miss weight. I gave him an extra... He, he wanted a 30 percent I, I gave him 25 you know what thank you and if he ever wants to do it again just win your next one I'll see you in the tournament thanks man